I needed some arches for my haven't a clue layout and the wheels kit seemed to fit the bill so I bought some. There are enough pieces in the kit to make four arches but I needed six so purchased two kits. The instructions are in the form of an exploded diagram and are very comprehensive and show how the arches can be reversed depending on whether you require plain or occupied arches. Out of shot at the top of the picture are clear instructions showing the order of assembly. This shot shows the pieces required to build one arch. The first, and in my view the only slightly difficult part of the whole assembly, is to fit the crown strips, the curved pieces in the picture, around the edge of the back of the arch. There are two pieces for each arch to make assembly easier, but it still required about three hands to bend, glue and hold the pieces, but take your time and it's worth it. Front and rear views showing the infill and parapet section and pillar. The parapet sections are in two pieces which have to be glued together back to back, but in my kit the sections were not quite square, so some filing was required to rectify this. I subsequently discovered it was better to leave the parapet sections and pillars off at this stage and wait until the arches were joined together. That way they can be fitted more snugly and with no gaps between each section. The left panel has been painted with my preferred version of brick colour to match the other structures on my line. The right arch has had the mortar between the bricks added. The left hand arch has had mortar added and looks a little white to my eyes so the right one has been dry brushed with my preferred brick colour to bring back the colour of the bricks. And now the fun part, assembling a row of arches which on my layout will be alongside a sharply curved section of track. Much thought went into how to work out the angles between each arch and in the end I cut out a, t a card template of the area where the arches would go to plot their exact positions. Each arch was glued to its neighbour one arch at a time and the vertical pieces of white plasticard were added to reinforce the join. The horizontal pieces are to keep the arches at the right angle to one another. Piers and capping strips have now been added. The final run of arches have had downpipes added which not only adds to the realism but just as importantly disguises the joins between each arch. Thinned whitish paint has been added to the arches to represent lime or mineral staining. Restraint is the key here. Construction was easy and despite being on a sharp curve the arches went together very well. I think they look superb on the layer and would recommend the kits to anyone. That's all for now. See you next time.